The Fulbright Scholarship at the University of Tennessee allows students to study, research, and teach around the globe. This year, they set a record, more than doubling the number of recipients. Smart and talented, and 10 News anchor Brandon Bates joins us with more on one of those students with a pretty unique talent. Brandon? Yes, Robin and John, very, very unique. Tonight, we introduce you to one of those recipients that I was able to talk to and skateboard with, who's not only researching abroad, but taking his love for skateboarding with him. Out of about 10,000 college student applicants across the country, less than 2,000 are awarded the Fulbright Scholarship to extend their education overseas. In 2016, five students at the University of Tennessee received the scholarship. Fast forward two years to 2018, that number jumped to 19 students. It's a record, but it also, not just a record for the university, but it puts us up there with top research universities across the country. Here are most of the recipients, all of them with a unique story, including Dylan Dunn's. So it went from kind of zero to 60 like that. Dylan is traveling to Indonesia to research religious architecture for 10 months thanks to the scholarship. And when he found out... It was disbelief at first. Uh, I actually received the notification when I was in the middle of uh, trying to submit an essay that was due in like 20 minutes. And now Dylan is getting ready for the trip and the most important thing going with him his skateboard. I do mostly downhill free rides, so I enjoy going very fast, as fast as possible, and also sliding quite a bit. My top speed tracked is a, a little over 40. And with so much on his plate, it's when Dylan is on his skateboard going 40 or five miles per hour when he can focus completely on just one thing, skateboarding. My mind becomes free and then I become much more relaxed as soon as my foot hits the board and the board hits the pavement. And he says it's that freedom that has helped him focus on the path ahead. And he plans to use skateboarding as a way to break cultural barriers when he's 9,000 miles from home. And had a lot of fun with him. He leaves for Indonesia in September. He says he's never been out of the country for 10 months. He really looks forward to this experience. Robin and John. We want to see the outtakes. Of yeah. you, uh... I almost <laughs> fell. I'm not going to lie to you. I was on my skateboard. Whew. This you know, close. Bleepers, bleepers, Tate. <laughs> yes, Christmas. indeed.